Electorate of Mayo, two applications were successful. 202,000 uh, is going towards a sculpture trail on Kangaroo Island, and 255,000 has been allocated <laughs> to the construction of a men's shed at Victor Harbour. I've previously spoken in this house about the Victor Harbour men's shed, and I re reiterate my support for men's sheds right across Australia. They are integral community spaces, um, and they're places where there's where there's a great deal of support, mateship, and indeed love for each other. And I believe they save lives. Um, when I visited Victor Harbour Men's Shed last year, um, I was delighted to see men, young and old, working side by side, sharing their skills together. Although I must say it was quite a tight squeeze uh, in the men's shed. Uh, so thanks to the grant funding they've received, uh, the Victor Harbour Men's Shed will be able to relocate to larger premises. And they were previously operating out of the Encounter Centre, uh, a great resource for our community, but they only had just one day a week. And so this will allow them to be open every day and help foster stronger relationships uh, throughout the community. An organisation such as this is exactly the reason why the Building Better Regions Fund is so valuable to regional communities. Similarly, the construction of the Kangaroo Island Sculpture Trail will be a great draw card, another great draw card to Kangaroo Island, uh, and I think it will be a great boost to our economy there. The trail will show the natural vegetation of the island, the local wildlife, and include large sculptured works created from natural materials. And I greatly look forward uh, to to its completion and. Uh, and disembarking at Penishore and having a good look around myself.